Rummaging through a garbage dump for the private keys to access over a half a billion dollars of Bitcoin is hardly an optimal user experience. Now, with a new phenomenon called account abstraction, the days of searching for lost keys and seed phrases could become a thing of the past. Today, we're figuring out what ERC4337 is and how exactly it solves this problem. You might have heard of James Howells, the man who famously threw out his hard drive in which he saved the private key to a wallet holding over 7,500 BTC. And while the amount which Howells lost is an outlier, his experience of losing access to crypto because of a misplaced private key is normal. In fact, a study from the crypto analytics firm Chainalysis found that roughly 20% of Bitcoin were unrecoverable due to lost private keys. That could be tens of billions of dollars in crypto. The good news is, in a development shared last week at WalletCon, a thousand person one day event in Denver, could make Howells' and countless others' experiences an issue no more or at least it may for Ethereum users. Enter ERC4337, an upgrade to the protocol which makes it so accounts can be controlled by smart contracts rather than private keys. This enables a new paradigm which people are calling account abstraction. Now the name comes from an idea that if smart contracts can control crypto accounts, the idea of what an account is becomes much more flexible or abstract. And a handful of use cases for account abstraction already exist and people in the community are excited. First and foremost, account abstraction will allow developers to spin up non-custodial wallets for users without them ever having to know what a private key is. And of course, this is hugely significant because the end of private keys would be the end of a serious entry barrier for wider crypto adoption. And outside of private key management, account abstraction will allow developers to combine transactions into one before a user approves it. What this means for anyone using decentralized exchanges like Uniswap or SushiSwap is that the two-step process of signing over permission for a token before making a trade can now be combined into one thanks to account abstraction. Another major change thanks to ERC4337 is the new ability to abstract away gas payments or pay for transactions in other tokens by exchanging them for ETH under the hood. Ethereum.org also gives the example of being able to pay a decentralized the exchange a flat fee in exchange for the ability to trade without needing to pay gas each time. So kind of like a gym membership. And other actions like pre-authorized payments up to a certain amount are also now possible with account abstraction. So this means you can go on vacation and potentially set up automatic bill payments by allowing your local utility companies to actually withdraw from your account. In short, ERC4337 is big news for Ethereum and it stands to make the experience of using the blockchain a more user-friendly experience. We're now finally moving on from forcing users to manage seed phrases, an achievement that will unlock even greater momentum in the wallet ecosystem. Pedro Gomez, the CEO and co-founder of Wallet Connect told The Defiant earlier this week. Other major developments in the space include the backpack model, which allows for non-financial data like age, membership to a group, or even ownership of a Twitter profile to be baked into someone's identity. And it's also worth noting that on Ethereum at least, ERC4337 is implemented as a smart contract on what we call the application layer as opposed to the protocol layer. In contrast, newer layer twos like ZK Sync have taken the opportunity to implement account abstraction natively or at the protocol level. This should theoretically allow scaling solutions to provide a much more flexible and familiar user experience. So crypto may be on the brink of an explosion of innovation at the wallet layer, and we may indeed be moving beyond a time where people regularly lose thousands of dollars or more simply because they misplaced their private keys. As ever, thank you for stopping by and make sure to tune in for tomorrow's weekly recap. <laughs>